Hey, look, it's no joke, okay? People are struggling to get by right now. Prices are only going up. May not look any better in the near future, so you gotta get a roommate, okay? Your housing costs are gonna be one of your largest expenses on your monthly budget, and it doesn't look to be getting any cheaper. Rents might go down, they might. House prices might go down, they might. But if they don't, it's still gonna maintain a pain point for you every month, just, a lot of money going out just to pay rent, okay? There's this thing called the 30% rule. It means that if you bring in $1,000 a month, you shouldn't pay more than 300 for your housing costs. That's just rent, okay? Uh, a lot of people are paying over that, apparently. So, got some data here. Um, the Harvard Joint Center for Housing Studies, they did uh, a study on the 2022 census data. Now, 2022 is two years ago, yes. Have prices gone up since then? Yes, maybe they've gone down in certain places, maybe. I haven't really heard that. All I hear about is prices going up. So from that 2022 data, they were showing that half of American renters are actually paying more than 30% on rent and utilities. Okay, so maybe if you factored out utilities, it's under 30%, but just using those numbers in general, people are paying more than that 30% rule says to have a healthy budget, right? Um, trying to corroborate that data, look at, um, I looked at Bankrate and NerdWallet. And in a recent study they did, apparently Americans are paying 25.8% of their income on housing costs. So what does that tell us? It tells us that rent is pretty expensive right now. Okay, so what do we do? We've got to lower that cost. How do we do it? We got to get a roommate, right? <laughs> Easier said than done. Obviously, I mean, what are you gonna do? I ask all your friends, hey, move in with me. I, hopefully that works, right? Sometimes you gotta put out ads. Are you just gonna ask random people on the street? What if they're terrible roommates? Let's just phrase it in that regard. Well, these are the criteria I would judge people on if I was gonna live with them, okay? Use them if you prefer, edit them as you want, but here's just like a basic outline of things I would look for in a roommate. One, they have to be able to pay rent reliably, okay? If you can't pay rent, I mean, what's the point of having the roommate? You know, they're there to help supply you with housing in your life uh, and, you know, themselves as well. So they've got to be able to reliably pay, pay rent, okay, first and foremost. Second, do they clean up after themselves? I hope so, because I, I want to respect the place I live in. I want to live in a at least fairly clean area. And I get it. You know, sometimes you're going to work a double and just be completely roasted afterwards, <laughs> just unable to clean up after yourself. I'm going to get the dishes in the morning. I'll leave them in the sink. I get it, dude. I get it. But communicate that. Hopefully they communicate with you when those times come along. And um, in general, they take care of their living space. So that'd be the second one. Uh, third, noise. All right. After 10 p.m., if there's work the next day, we got to have a, a house rule. It's got to be quiet after 10 p.m. Because people need their sleep. Got to wake up at 5, go into the office. I can't be a zombie all day. You got to set those house rules for when are loud times available, right? Is it Friday night? Friday night, everyone pump their music, listen to that movie on loud. Great, great, great. But work nights, it's got to be quiet after 10 p.m. So that'd be the third thing. Make sure that people can get the sleep they need. Okay, and fourth... This is kind of a luxury one, but they got to respect the food in the fridge. <laughs> Remember the, the second example of cleaning up, right? Sometimes you communicate to each other, hey, I, I can't get the dishes tonight. I'm just exhausted after my 12-hour shift. I, I get it. Sometimes the same thing happens where you're like, I, I'm a little short on money this month. I made the rent, that first rule, but I wasn't able to pick up enough shifts. And I'm just, can I have some of your food? That's a great conversation. That's, that's awesome. Good communication. Let's work this out. Preferably, that doesn't happen very often, but don't eat my chicken wings if they're in the fridge, right? So very simple criteria for you to help filter through possible roommates to help lower that cost of housing because it, it appears to only be going up. Maybe it'll go down in some places. I, I hope rents go down in your situation. I hope you can find a, a situation that's more sit, uh, sustainable for you and um, so you can maintain your housing situation. But... Um, if you need to find a roommate to lower that cost of living, which I would highly recommend that you do, uh, just look for those four criteria. Pay rent reliably, uh, they keep a pretty clean house, 
they uh, respect noise and they respect the fridge. If you can find someone that does those four things, they're golden. Awesome. Great roommate. I hope things work out. Oh, fifth thing. Um, not necessarily for the roommate, but just something to keep in mind. Try to keep it above the table. Try to keep it legal. Uh, work with the landlord to get them on the lease. There's a lot of fine print in leases where they can come back and bite you, either monetarily, take you to court. It can affect your renting record altogether to make it hard to get a place later. Try to do it legally. Um, you can run into complications if they find out that you're bringing people in and not letting them know about it, right? So that's another little piece of advice I would give you. Just try to do it legally. Um, when I was 20 years old, we had a two-bedroom apartment, a friend and I. And our rent was, I don't know, like 800 a month or something back then. And um, we had three friends whose leases, they didn't have any overlap. So they had one lease ending and another one starting. And all three of them had different lease um, gaps in between, right? So there was about a month for this guy before they could go into the new lease. And this person had three months until the next lease would even start. So we had five people in a two-bedroom apartment cheapest rent I've ever paid. Okay, I was sleeping behind the couch in the living room. So in a situation like that, I mean, you're gonna give up quality of life. You're gonna give up a bunch of privacy. Yeah, but cost of living went down like crazy. If I could do it differently now, I definitely would have figured out a more legal way to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the apartment complex wasn't very happy about that when they found out. So good luck. Take care of yourselves out there and do what you can to lower that cost of living because it might not get easier over the next decade. But this is a sure way to lower that, uh, that rent cost. And I, I hope you find someone to help you out. So good luck. Thanks for watching.